Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Today is card day and we are going to do a really easy card. And I am so addicted to the Share Milkshake Bundle. It is so adorable. So if you saw my video Sunday, you're going to know what I'm talking about. I did a treat box with that. I also did a YouTube short, which had a little quick gift card idea with it. Oh my gosh, I love this bundle. So this is the bundle, Share a Milkshake. It's just so darn cute. And it does come with the dies and the stamp set. And you can save 10% when you buy the bundle. So you get the dies and the share a milkshake and don't forget celebrations going on so for every fifty dollars you spend you get a free product out of the celebration brochure both of those are on my blog at stampingwithamore.com you can go and browse them right on my blog and then i'm going to use the best butterflies just for these little dots and if you want to, you can use the little hearts from the Share Our Milkshake because there are little hearts. I did the hearts first, but I like the little dots better, so I went with the dots. But you can even use like the back of a pencil. I've seen people use the, the eraser part of a pencil so that you can just dot little dots on there if you want. If you don't have that stamp set or if you have another stamp set that has the dots you can go with that i even added a little bit a of our da dazzling diamonds which we don't carry anymore but i'll link something in the description that's similar to it because this is so beautiful i really wish we had it still but yeah this is what i'm sharing on the inside i didn't put a sentiment yet because i don't know what i'm going to use it for valentine's or a birthday or something like that so I left it blank for right now all right let's get started so you're gonna need a piece of crumb cake for the card base it's four and a quarter by eleven you're gonna score it at five and a half and it's a top folding you're gonna need two pieces that are four by five and a quarter one for the inside and one for our stamping piece and then you'll need a piece of crumb cake and a piece of basic white to stamp on and I am actually using the thick whisper white I use it on all my cards all right first thing we're going to do is we're going to stamp so the colors that I'm using for this are pear pizzazz early espresso and polished pink I thought I'd do strawberry pistachio and chocolate <laughs> so that's what I'm using for this so we're going to do the this one first with the pear pizzazz you can make your ice creams whatever your fla favorite flavors are. So I'm just going to grab my little and wipe that. It's a, it's a little chamois. I can't think of the name of it right now, but if I can remember, I'll put it in the description because I have had people ask about that too. I did get it on Amazon. And then that. These last forever too. This is still one pack I got like I think five years ago and I use use them till I can't use them anymore when they're so dirty all right and then we're gonna do our last one which is going to be our polished pink which is our strawberry so there we go we're gonna bring these back out when we do our little dots and then I am going to go ahead and we are going to run through the die. And this is the die for the cone. And then we're going to use this one is to cut out our little ice cream top. So I'm going to run these all through the cut and emboss and I will be right back. Okay, we have our ice cream cone right there. And then we have our chocolate pistachio and our strawberry ice cream now these do have a little slit in it and the slit is for our little straw because it is a milkshake but i'm using them as ice cream if you have a scan and cut and that really bothers you that didn't bother me at all <laughs> but if that bothers you that little slit there then just run it through stamp them and run them through your scan and cut and you won't have the little slit there all right so on this one we're going to jazz it up a little bit with some crumb cake I'm just going to use my little sponge dauber here and we're just going to go around the edge of this just to darken up the cone. 
All right, so that's it. Now it has all the score marks and everything on here. So you just need to fold those. And then this one goes this way. But all you need to do is add a little adhesive right here. And you're going to close that up. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to use dimensionals. I'm using dimensionals because I popped this up. And I'm going to use it on all of these. So we're going to go ahead and first put it on. You don't really have to put it on this first one um, right there. I'm going to just put some adhesive right here just to get this one started. So I'm going to put that right there. And then we're going to do our chocolate one here. And I'm going to add some other dimensionals actually when we get to that part and do one more and just be careful it doesn't stick to your surface here because it will and then we're going to add our little strawberry one isn't that cute now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a little bit of my dazzling diamonds and I'm going to just use a little paintbrush and some wet glue so I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of wet glue right here because I only want it on this left side of this so I'm gonna take that my dazzling diamonds right here and I'm just gonna grab a little bit and I'm just gonna dot it on some of these little dots here I'm not gonna go crazy I just want a little bit of sparkle on it and then we're just going to use these. I love these. They're so pretty. I hope we come back with these someday. I don't know. We'll see. And then there's our little glitter on there. Can you catch some of that? Isn't that pretty? All right. So that is it for that. Now we are going to put our card together. Let's get this out of here. Now I got glitter everywhere. I'm going to grab my little Swiffer clean that off because these little Swiffers were perfect for that. I'm going to set that aside and we are going to grab, let's go ahead and mount um, the inside piece so we don't have to worry about that piece. We're going to do that one first. And then this one we're going to go ahead and stamp. I'm going to use some our other colors. We're not going to use crumb cake, but we're going to use these three. I'm going to stamp our sentiment. It says, Life is sweeter with you. I'm going to stamp that down at the bottom here. And that will give me room. I'm going to actually use my cone to figure out where I am going to put my little dots. So here are my little dots right here. And I'm going to go off of the page a little bit on some of these because I don't want them all. And we'll do, let's see, I'll do one up here. And I'm going to clean that again with my little chamois. And we'll do some pear pizzazz. And you don't have to go crazy with this, just however you like it. Just do it how many you want there. I like to do three of each because I like the odd number. And then we're going to do some of the polished pink. And we'll put one up here for that. Let's see where else can we put one. Do one down here, maybe one out here. I think I'm going out a little further than I did on my other one. I think I'm going to just do one more off the page right here. And I think that's going to be it. All right. Just do however you like it. Now I'm going to add some of my seal plus down on the bottom cone part here and we're going to grab some more dimensionals and we're just going to put those over here you only need a couple and then we're going to set that on here 
Isn't that cute? I'm getting the glitter still. Again, it's coming off somewhere. All right, and then we're going to grab this part. I'm going to use some Samp and Seal Plus on the back here, and we're going to put it on our front. And that is it. Super simple. Anybody can do this one. It's just so quick and easy. If you want to stamp the bottom like I did on the inside of this other one, you can stamp that as well and put a sentiment. But there you have it. Aren't they cute? And they're super easy. I hope you enjoyed it, everyone. If you need any supplies, you can shop on my blog at stampingwithamore.com. The catalogs are there if you'd like a catalog. To be sent to you i'll be happy to do that if you don't have your own demonstrator and you can go to the request a catalog form on my blog at stampingwithamora.com have a blessed day everyone i'll catch you in the next one see you later bye